What is different this year is first, actually at West Campus, we've condensed our schedule. It's actually from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. because that way we can allocate our resources and our people over at West and have them come over to East and Waterson later on. So West goes a lot smoother and quicker than our other areas of campus. It's a great day. Watterson is so complex that we have a smoother and quicker uh, transition for people wanting to move in there. We used to let people you know, come in and move in at their own times and now we tell them what time to come, where they're going to come, what date they're going to come on and it helps an, an extremely large amount just from using the elevators to condensing the lines. It's a great process and a lot of people wish other universities would do it as well. We're walking up and down the lines just saying, hey, how are you doing? Welcome to Watterson, welcome to ISU. Uh, and some people are frazzled, they're like, okay, I'm going to get on the elevator and I need to go to Randolph. Where's that? And we're saying, you know, it's going to be up on this level. We'll help you the whole way. Sorry for the big traffic, but we'll get you where you need to go. I'm here for the lift and that's it. Are we ready to move? Jump in line? All right, I think we're ready. I'm here with my son, who's a freshman this year, in first time freshman. Um, my husband and my son's friend are helping move in, and I'm sitting watching guard. So it's kind of crying, but it's good. It's all good. Does anybody else here need saran wrap? So we have over 300 volunteers, and that's a mix of students and student athletes. So we have full teams from athletics that come over and volunteer with their coaches. And we also have ISU staff volunteer as well. So we put them in various locations. They help unload from the car, uh, carry stuff up the elevators, up the stairs, uh, do key check-ins, sell uh, cable cords and Ethernet cords. So a great variety of responsibilities just to make sure everyone knows where they're going and uh, what to do. We're helping out with Curbridge, so we just help unload people's cars, help help the new students bring in their stuff. There's a lot of stuff they're bringing in the freshmen. I don't know if they need all of it, but they've got a lot of stuff, so I've been carrying it up and down stairs, and you know, it's, been, it's been a good workout. <laughs> clothes, I brought a bunch of clothes, my bedroom stuff. Um, yeah, my hair straightener. <laughs> Go red bird. Yeah, the, the futon, is, they're big, and sometimes it can take a lot of space in the room, but I do think the students like them. Um, but in, from, in terms of need, we have a lot of lounge space, different common area spaces for students to come together. So some people just prefer them, and I'd say, okay, that's fine. But I don't think they need their Keurig. I don't think they need to have their hot plate, uh, and we have to remind them of those things. And some of them don't think they'll live without it, but I promise them they will. Campus dining has wonderful food. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Manchester Hall. Once we get the elevators here, we'll just have you guys back in your cars, and we'll go from there questions I've been asking the past from parents and from students more likely is where do I hire my cleaning service um, and because they expect you know, they don't, well they're used to that and maybe they have that at home but they want a cleaning service this is kind of you're getting used to growing up and so people aren't there to remind you to clean your room or maybe you should do your dishes it's just kind of the growing process but yeah we don't allow cleaning services um, we encourage you to do that yourself state your passion state your passion State your passion. State your passion at Illinois State University.